Hi, I'm Crystal with Ben Alexander. We feel network marketing is the world's best profession. But when it comes to crypto, the majority still have some beliefs that trip them up. Number one objection, crypto is so complicated. Crypto is the hardest thing I've tried to understand. It's brand new, so even the definitions used to describe crypto aren't fully formed. Decentralization is new concept, let alone proof of work, proof of stake or mining. One way to address the complexity of crypto is to take a look at all the age groups who use crypto on YouTube. When people say crypto is too complex to learn, I ask them if they feel as smart as the average YouTube users. Even though crypto is complicated, people of all age groups have figured it out. Crypto isn't rocket science. The second way I address the complexity is to tell people that while it's hard to learn about crypto, the payoff is enormous. Number two objection. People don't like to invest time to study new things. To learn about crypto, you have to learn a lot. At first, you won't understand much of what you read or see. So you have to work to understand the meaning of individual words and phrases. We've seen it accomplished in as little as 20 hours or so, or some take closer to 200 hours. Either way, it's a lot of work. And it turns out most people aren't up for that. Objection three, some people are too successful to see the light. Here's a quote. Before I saw the light, I could see the world, but I was only seeing a partial view of the world. After I saw the crypto light, it felt like I'd been a horse with blinders on. And the new world I saw was something very different than what I'd seen before. That person had what's called a gestalt shift. In order to see the crypto light, you have to be open to new ideas. You have to want to look to the right or left, even if looking straight ahead has paid off big time. Yet the most successful people that are, the less likely they are to change how they look at the world. The less likely they are to have an interest in looking left or right and seeing what's there. Being successful makes it less likely you'll see the crypto light. Objection four, the belief that only governments issue currency. It's hard to get people to appreciate that they're better off believing in an algorithm like the one that runs Bitcoin than their own government. Even Wikipedia says currencies in this sense are defined by governments. Now the government backed currency is certainly dominant today, trading about $5.1 trillion a day or roughly 200 times the $25 billion traded daily in digital currency. But digital currency is a thing and will be increasingly accepted as a means of payment regardless of what people think. Objection five, most people just don't care. The most prevalent reason people don't see the light is because they have no interest in it. In a recent poll, there is no need or they are disinterested was the number one reason people cited for not owning cryptocurrency. Six objection, not even curious. It's hard not to realize there's something going on. Bitcoin is the fastest growing thing in the history of the world in terms of market cap. Bitcoin is worth over 150 billion and another 300 billion in crypto value has been created over the last few years. The only reason to not care about that is simply because you're not a curious person. Number seven objection. Crypto is too volatile, too risky. People say, Crystal, crypto is too volatile or too risky for them to be interested in it. So were junk bonds when they first started trading. Other than Drexel Burnham, which invented junk bonds, Every other investment bank at the time said junk bonds were garbage, that they would never deal with them. And they often pointed to volatility as a sign that junk bonds were too risky and would never be a thing. Over time, crypto's volatility is lessened and will continue to do so. That's what happens with new asset classes. Objection eight, some say 
Crystal, I think crypto is a scam. It doesn't help that a lot of people still think of Silk Road when they think about crypto. That concern is compounded by the fact that some of the most successful business people in the world continuously deride crypto. Warren Buffett called Bitcoin a rat poison square. But naysayers like Damone or Buffett have never done the work. People who follow Buffett don't realize that he's never said an intelligent thing about crypto. They don't realize that Damone might just be talking about their own books. Interestingly, almost twice as many men as women think crypto's a scam. Objection 9. Some say, Crystal, I'm just too old. Ken Langone, the 82-year-old financer of Home Depot, was asked if he'd looked into Bitcoin crypto. He laughed and said, I only invest in things I understand. When he was told he wasn't too old to learn, he shrugged the statement off as if someone was trying to get him to join a call. And maybe they were. I assume he was a curious guy at some point in his life, but now he's too old to care about learning a new trick. We know many people in their 50s interested in crypto and older, but there is a high correlation with age and a disinterest in seeing the crypto light. Objection 10. The crypto light is still pretty dim. Even for people who are curious and do the work, it's still hard to see the light because it's still dim. Most people have never knowingly interacted with the blockchain. Most have never even met someone who's used crypto as currency. Most people have no context in which to begin to place crypto. But the crypto light is getting brighter every day. Every day more people see the light. Every day more people are leaving their jobs at McKinsey and Goldman and going in on crypto. Every day the crypto community is building and improving crypto tech. Even though this list above can seem pretty dire, I'm confident that the crypto light will continue to get brighter. And at some point, like the sun in the sky, it will be clearly visible for all to see. Until then, we'll continue to build the industry brick by brick. We'll continue to educate those that haven't seen the crypto light. We'll continue to take the derision of highly respected people who haven't done the work. We'll continue to innovate. And most importantly, we'll continue to leverage crypto to make the world a better place for billions of people less fortunate than us. If you like this video, please like and share. Once again, I'm Crystal with Ben Alexander. We have a legit way to make network marketing, crypto, and blockchain work for you. Please visit the link below if you are interested. Thanks and bye for now.